He has a doctorate of clinical psychology, founder of the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Let's welcome Dr. Umar. Dr. Umar Johnson. 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 Black men get the white women that other white men genuinely do not want. You don't get the top of the line white women. You don't. You get leftovers. Look at most of our celebrities. They did not marry women who came from the richest white families. Black money and white money don't behave the same. New black money will jump on any poor white girl and make her a billionaire, Tiger Woods. No interracial relationship is acceptable because we have too many black women who are unmarried. Black women are the largest population on the planet Earth. If you can't find one in America, get it from Africa. If you can't get it from Africa, go to the Caribbean, go to Canada, go to Europe. Why would a black man need to copulate, build a family with anything other than a black woman when you have so many black women available? It mm. is an exercise in self-hatred. There's no way to get around it. Oh, it's yeah. easy to judge people when you're comfortable, right. which is why I tell black educated folk, because they can be very bourgeoisie. Absolutely. I can't stand those bourgeoisies who grew up in the ghetto, mm -hmm. went, got their masters and doctors. Now you're acting like you forgot what it was like to be in the hood. Now, I want to say a few things for my parents, and then I'm going to wrap up so we can take a few questions and answers. Mm -hmm. Number one, don't sign any paperwork the school gives you if you don't understand it. You have my number. You know what that means? If you get a piece of paperwork and you don't know what the hell they're talking about, take a picture and text it to my phone. It's that easy. Dr. Umar, I just got this in the mail. I don't know what the hell this is saying. Can you tell me what they're up to? And I'm going to say, oh, yeah, that's the new way they do the special ed requests. But they don't put the word special ed on the paper because they know Dr. Umar is educating black parents. So that's the special ed request. They just left the word special ed off of it. That's how slick they got they manipulating y'all into special ed. And you know why? Not because they care about your child, but because they get extra money for putting your child in special ed. I don't know if y'all know this, but every time I evaluate your son and daughter, speech and language impairment, emotional disturbance, intellectual disability, reading math disability, blindness, deafness, brain injury, orthopedically impaired, multiple disability, other health impaired, children who are deaf and blind, ED, ID, ADHD, ODD, the name going to a computer. It goes to Lansing State Department of Education. And by the end of the month, a welfare check is sent to your child's school district in their name. Special education is a business. Special education is a hustle. Special education is a racket of making money off black kids. You knew you never taught in the first place. Oh, God, God. Let me give you another piece of advice. If your child is in the third grade or under, you better have a damn good reason for signing that permission to evaluate for them. Because if they third grade and under, all they need is a little bit more practice that can come from you at your kitchen table or pay a tutor to work with your child. And when I say pay a tutor, I did not say go out and find a professional tutoring company because they ain't nothing but scammers. Find you a retired teacher. Find you a college student. Find you a high school student right here in Kalamazoo and pay them $20 two, three times a week to tutor your son or daughter. And if you do that, two, three sessions, one hour a pop, your child will be reading better than everybody in their class by the end of the year. That's all you need. You don't need no damn special aid. You don't need no IEP. And you don't need no psychological evaluation. Cut it out. Special ed ain't nothing but the fast track to school to prison pipeline. And by the way, you can't prove the labels we use anyway, Kalamazoo. You can't prove somebody's reading disabled. You can't prove somebody's math disabled. You can't prove they got ADHD. I got $100 for anybody in here who can prove to me that their son got a reading disability just because white folks said so. Mm -hmm. They only prove that their skill is behind. They never proved that they were disabled. Most black kids in special ed are not disabled. They are delayed because of poor instruction. And no practice at your house. Is there a blood test for the reading disability? Is there an x-ray for the math disability? Is there a urine sample for ADHD? 
Is there an MRI for emotional disturbance? These ain't nothing but white people's opinions about your children. And you Negroes think giving your baby a label is a solution. Black people find out their child needs special ed, they act like they hit the damn lottery. I knew he had a reading problem. <laughs> At the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy, we're not having special ed because special ed is a federal program and we are not federally funded and we don't want to be federally funded. So what you going to do about kids who are behind Dr. Umar? What if he can't sit still? What if he can't count? What if he can't read? No problem. We have weekend school. Saturday and Sunday. 7 in the morning until 7 at night until your ass can read. <laughs> to bet me after one month. <laughs> it won't take a market period. It won't take a year. One month of 7 to 7 Saturday and 7 to 7 Sunday, his ass will be reading better than Barack Obama. <laughs> this one couldn't sit still for five years. He don't even want to move no more. You know what the difference is? Your children know how to run game on you. I'll be damned if they're going to run game on me. And you know why? Our job as black adults, and by the way, when I say children, I'm not talking about your biologicals. I'm talking about your community-wide children. Because one of the problems we got as African people, when we talk about children, we think about the ones we gave birth to. No, 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 no. In African culture, we embrace the village concept. The village. That means every child in the village is my son or daughter, whether they came from my seat or not. So when I say children, I'm talking about all the children. And in the village, we don't leave no child behind. In fact, our solutions as a people can all be traced to what, y'all? The village. All these black people committing suicide because they don't belong to a village. All these single black mothers having nervous breakdowns because they ain't got nobody to help them with all these children because we ain't got no village. All these black men dating these snow bunnies, no village. All these black businesses not being supported by black people, no village. The solution is the village. Yes, sir. And that's why one of the things I'm going to do as soon as the school is ready in Delaware, I'm going to create a village where you can join into it, pay into it, small little amount of money. We're going to order our food together, order our produce together, travel together, live together, solve our problems together the way we used to do as a people. We need the village back. Brothers and sisters, especially black mothers, Stop telling your business to your child's classroom teacher. Thank you. Yeah. Stop telling your business to your child's classroom teacher. Mrs. Slurinowski is not your life coach. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Slurinowski is not your counselor. Mrs. Slurinowski is not your astrologer or your damn palm reader. Mrs. Slurinowski is your enemy. And if you keep on telling her how you're a recovering crackhead, if you keep on telling her how your kid's father in jail, you keep on telling her you had to sell your body to pay bills, you keep on telling her you and your kids was homeless for two years, you keep on telling her you're living in your mom's basement with five kids, the minute she tells you Raheem needs special aid, the minute she tells you Rashida needs medication, and you refuse, guess what Ms. Lermanowski going to do? She's going to go right to the principal, Dr. Silverberger. <laughs> She's going to say, Dr. Silverberger, I don't want to tell on Miss Shaquita. I really do like her a lot, but she confessed to me that she's living in her mother's basement with five kids in a one room. I don't think that's healthy. I noticed that John John, he wears the same dirty, wrinkled school uniform every day. His breath smells, his socks are dirty. She smells like marijuana today. Oh, yeah? You think white people are your friend? Tell them no and see how quickly they become your enemy. You know how many black women I know don't have their children anymore? 
for telling their business to white folks. And black women, stop bragging about being a single parent to white people. I'm so sick and tired of black women walking into the school like it's a badge of honor. I'm a single mother. You're a single mother because you have to be, not because you choose to be. And why don't I want you to tell the school that you're a single mama? Because statistically, the black children of single black mothers are more likely to be suspended, expelled, special educated, and medicated. You let them know you're a single black mother with no support, they'll be calling you every other day to pick your son up early from school. Tell them you are married. And if they ask you why they never see the husband, tell them he works out of town. He works out of the country. He's an overnight truck driver. But don't you tell him you by yourself. In fact, tell him you got two husbands. <laughs> they will leave your ass alone. <laughs> Something else, black mother and black father, never go to a school meeting by yourself. Never go to the school by yourself. Black mother, what do they do when you go to We Hate Black People Public School? In Kalamazoo. <laughs> they put a black mother in a room. We want to talk about Raheem's behavior. One black mother. We want to talk about Raheem's behavior. One black mother. And after you've been sitting in a room, who comes in the room? The principal. Principal intern. Vice principal. Dean of students. Grade coach. Reading specialist. Math specialist. Classroom teacher. Classroom assistant. Bus driver. Football coach. Window washer. <laughs> One black mother. They got 12 Caucasians and one coon sitting around you. Why did they bring 12 people in there for you? Why did they bring five people in there for you? If it's only one black mother, can't we do this with maybe two or three? What the hell you need seven and eight? To intimidate you. To make you think you don't know your child as much as they do. And I'm here to tell every black mother and father in here, you ain't got to have six degrees like me. You don't need three masters. You don't need a doctorate. You don't need no professional certifications to know that something they saying don't fit right with you. If it don't feel right, it ain't right. And learn how to say no to a group of white folks. See, the problem is we're used to saying no to a group of white folks. Because historically, when a black man or black woman ever said no to a group of white folks, you ended up strung up from a tree. You see how that conditioning is still with us? So now you walk into the school in Kalamazoo, surrounded by white folks, something in you still don't want to say no, even though you know no is right. That's because of that Willie Lynch mentality. In fact, don't even say no. Say hell no. Don't say, I'm going to think about it. Why would you do that? You're leaving the door open. I'll give it some time. Why are you doing that? You're leaving the door open. If you know you're not letting them get tested, say it! You devils cannot be trusted. And my son is not being tested. And if they keep on harassing you, write a letter to the principal. This letter serves as official notice that I am refusing your permission for a psychological evaluation. I do not believe my son is behind in reading because he's disabled. I believe my son is behind in reading because y'all never taught him. Let me give you a little history. When my son was in the fourth grade, he was suspended every other day. He couldn't learn because I never left him in the class. When my son was in the third grade, he had a first year white teacher from we, we Hate Black People University of Michigan. She could barely read her damn self. When my son was in the second grade, the teacher went on maternity leave and my son had 25 substitutes from November to June. So the reason he's in the fifth grade reading on the second grade level is because I never taught him. Next. When you sign that permission to evaluate form, you give me authority to tell you why he didn't learn. If you know why he didn't learn, you tell them. You don't sign the damn paper. Oh, and in case you didn't know, if your son got an IEP and you try to put him in a private school, private schools can legally refuse admission to a child with an IEP. Mm -hmm. Some of y'all didn't know that. You said, I'm going to move away from Kalamazoo. I'm going to move to Lansing. I'm going to put him in a Catholic school, blah, blah, blah. Some of them might take him, but legally do they have to? Nope. If your child has a disability, private schools do not have to take them. But you say, wait a minute, Doc. My child is in the private school, and they asked me to test my kid. I know they did. You know why? Because if you're dumb enough to let a private school evaluate your kid, they're going to come back with a report that says, we're sorry, he's reading disabled. We don't have an IEP program. he got to go back to the public school. That's how you get black kids out of school. I had a mother call me the other day, Dr. Uwa, they put my kid out. They asked me to let him test it. I let him test it, and they said he got a disability, but they can't provide services, and I have to leave because they don't 
work with kids with disabilities. I said, if you would have called me first, I could have told you that. See, let's be clear. There's five major problems that black people have in America. Five. Miseducation, mass incarceration, gentrification, police brutality, and access to wealth, economic apartheid. Those are the five biggest problems. So I don't want nobody in Kalamazoo coming to me talking about you running for office and you don't have a plan to deal with the big five. That's right. You want to be a state legislator in Michigan? You want to be a city council person in Kalamazoo? You want to be the governor of Michigan? You want to be the mayor of Kalamazoo? What is your plan for mass incarceration? What is your plan to fix the schools? What is your plan to give black people economic opportunities so they can start their own businesses? Because everybody knows college is dead and gone. I hope you Negroes ain't about to send your kid to the University of Michigan, $40,000 a year. You're about to drop 40, 80, 100, $160,000 on a four year education, and your child won't even be able to find a job. <laughs> See how they play black people? They tell you, get you some education. Get you some education and you'll be able to do better in life. Really? Well, if that's the case, why do we have two million black people with master's and doctorate degrees who are unemployed? I got black people with doctorate degrees calling me up for jobs. Can't find the work. Because the white man ran a scam on you and made you think you need a college degree in order to make it in this world. And all the college degree is is a trap, long-term debt to the white man. And don't get me wrong, if your child want to be a nurse, they go to college. Doctor, go to college. Engineer, psychologist, educator, you go to college. But if your child don't know what they want to be, I'm not paying $40,000 a year for them to find out. <laughs> I'll tell you what I will pay for. I'll pay for his ass to go to Michigan Trade School. Oh, yeah. I'll pay two years for you to become a plumber. I'll pay two years for you to become a brick mason. I'll pay two years for you to become a carpenter. I'll pay two years for you to become an electrician. I'll pay two years for you to become a welder. I'll pay two years for you to become an auto mechanic. You're damn right, because I know once you got the skills that can pay the bills. Yeah. Come on now. Yes. Come on now. Once you got the skills that can pay the bills, if you want to go to college thereafter, you can finance it yourself. You know why so many black men in prison? Let me tell you how America destroyed black America after they murdered Dr. King. April 4th will be 55 years since Dr. King was taken. April the 4th of 2023 will be 55 years since Dr. King was murdered. And black people ain't got our act together since. Let me tell you what they did. Two years after they killed King, 1970, they went into the black community. Lansing, Kalamazoo, Detroit, Grand Rapids, and they took all the factory jobs out of the black community. And then they went into the high schools and took out all the industrial building trade programs. Up until 1970, you didn't have to go to college to get a good job. We got grandparents who worked in the factory and lived a better life we live in without two master's degrees. But in the 1970s, the white man said, we are about to economically bankrupt the black man. We are about to make the black man economically irrelevant to the black woman. And that's exactly what he did. Shut down the factory jobs and shut down the high school programs that teach him how to work in. 1980, CIA drops off crack cocaine. Black man is really from the unemployment of the 1970s. But now you got crack, courtesy of the government. You can smoke it or you can sell it. Most brothers tried to sell it to pay the rent. Uh-oh, that takes us to 1990s. Bill Clinton, 1994 crime reform, crime reform bill. For the first time in American history, you can go to jail for the rest of your life for nonviolent offenses if you get caught selling crack three times. Came a change, I'm a maze, take the high road Made the play bit on my game, I'm a splash code Can't complain, I make it rain, heavy cash load See my veins, I get the gains, you a slimy troll